the phrase that comes to mind is a pe uh, peculiar people. That's definitely what Bolivia is. Um, they're very unique in their way that they celebrate um, different. I mean, if they can find a way to celebrate something, they'll celebrate it. Um, the biggest thing is, is Carnival in February. They just love to um, basically have a huge water fight for two days. So my recommendation is don't wear clothes that you don't want to get wet. Um, because even if you're, it doesn't matter who you are, what you're doing, what you have in your hands, they will throw water balloons at you, they'll throw buckets of water. Sometimes it gets worse and it's like paint. Basically, they just like to have fun and, and enjoy that. Other cool um, holidays, this, the um, 6th of August is their Independence Day. And that day is very special to them, um, as is our Independence Day. Um, they really enjoy just kind of being together with the family and, and that's the biggest thing is they love to be with their families and so um, within or on a certain holiday they'll have grandma and grandpa come from wherever they are and, and come with aunts and uncles and cousins and, and be there with um, with the family there to celebrate and to, to enjoy that special time but that's the biggest thing and, and they're very um, accepting of having visitors on on holidays usually if they know you. Um, proselyting on a new day, uh, proselyting to new people on a holiday is probably not the best idea, but trying and visiting people that you already know on a holiday is, is actually quite a, a good idea and, and something that I would recommend. Definitely they like soccer. Um, Bolivia is not known for its great football, soccer teams, but they do love to play it and, and always out in the streets. Um, but besides that, they just like to be with people. They like to converse, they like to work. Um, they like to do different things. I mean, I wouldn't say there's a specific thing besides soccer is probably the number one. Um, but besides that, just having a fun time and, and they do like to celebrate. They like to party, which if you don't teach them correctly, then it involves alcohol and lots of drunk people in the street. You can enjoy yourself. And as far as um, cultural do's and don'ts, they do like to greet you with a kiss. Just make sure that um, you keep it arm's distance away from the girls because they like um, they'll sometimes forget that you're a missionary or sometimes forget that, that you can't do that. And another thing is try not to leave food on your plate. Um, it's a big, uh, or if people offer you food, uh, like one time I remember we were fasting. It was fast Sunday and it was the Saturday night before and we had this, this investigator who was about to be baptized the next week. And she made us this big plate of food. And one thing of Bolivia, if you, if you reject um, someone's offered to feed you that's kind of it's pretty offensive and so we said i just looked at my companion and said okay we're fasting tomorrow <laughs> let's end this right now so we ended our fast and we ate the food just because we knew that she meant we she didn't know that we meant no harm in in, in saying no to her food and she was just offering the best that she had and so we ate it instead so one thing is as much as you can accept the things that they give you um, because it is just out of love that they do it